photo's location is so important as it can add so much more detail and aesthetic to any Instagram photo. I'm sure many of you have had the problem of living in a small city or rural area and you think there's not many photography spots and you wish you lived in a big city like New York, LA or London. However, today's video is going to show you how you can find the perfect Instagram locations wherever you live. Hi awesome YouTube, it's Dom here from Paleo Pickups and I'm back with another video. In today's video, it is another fashion photography video. I'm going to be going over four different tips on how to find the best Instagram photo locations. If you're not following me already, my Instagram is at Hadley underscore. I post around one to two outfit photos every single day, so be sure to go check it out. And also, I'd recommend staying to the end because I've saved the best tip to last. I've never seen anyone mention it on the whole of the YouTube platform, but let's jump into tip number one. So first up, we're going to talk about photography style. My personally, I prefer shooting in like city centers. I like having tall buildings and like nice architecture. The reason being is I personally think like not everyone is into fashion, so other people can follow me and enjoy the photo too because they like the architecture and the background. And having a good alpha photo and a good background just makes a perfect photo. But however, some people do prefer shooting in like the countryside and that's like a really nice aesthetic. My personal preference is just to shoot in the city. So a good way on how to find really good photography locations and appealing looking places is to go onto Instagram and to go on the location tab. So I live in Chester, but let's say I want to do a day shooting in Liverpool. I go over to Instagram, I type in Liverpool and head over to the places tab. And as you can see, we says there the Royal Albert Dock Liverpool. So you click on that and you can see people's photos. And as you see near the Albert Dock is a really nice and appealing. It has nice buildings. It has the waterfront, really nice architecture and also the museum too. So these are really good places to shoot in front of. And it's always good just to go on the location. You can just go on the place itself, Liverpool, just scroll down and you'll be able to find a variety of different places. And another way to do it is to type in on hashtags, type in Liverpool, say photographer so they are obviously going to be shooting around photographer or photography and they're obviously going to be shooting around Liverpool and these are like the best looking photos so you can find like the best architecture spots like cool little locations the majority of them in Liverpool are near the Albert Dock but you can see a few near the cathedral a few at the museum a few on Bold Street as you can see they're nice shopping and old street and you can find some really good spots for inspiration to take your Instagram photos however these are really popular places so people will just recognize these spots. So people can relate to them more, but they're not gonna be as unique and they're not gonna stand out as much. So now to move on to tip number two. So moving on to tip number two, this one is nice and simple, and that is just going onto Google and typing in the city, for example, Liverpool again, best photography location. So this will show you some unique spots too, because this is like from a photographer's instinct. So you can find a load of cool different spots very touristy to be honest you're just going to hit the main spots take good photos and you're guaranteed that these photos will do well because people love these backgrounds however you're not going to find some unique stuff so another way you can find some unique stuff is type in like basically Liverpool urban exploration or abandoned buildings and this way you can find some abandoned spots and me personally I love shooting in these because I love the aesthetic of it something so different not everyone can go to these spots however some of these spots can be actually illegal to go to so you basically got to be like sneaky to climb into there or like get into there because you can be fined if you get caught and also I wouldn't recommend wearing your nicest stuff because you're gonna have to like climb through windows or like pop over fences etc but you can get some really cool shots so I definitely recommend searching on Google it's nice and easy and you'll find a variety of different spots and if you don't want to be too generic and look touristy go onto Google and type in like hidden spots so if you type in hidden spots you'll find places that not everyone's been to and then you can kind of stand out on your Instagram with a spot that no one knows about in Liverpool or in your home city and it'll make your Instagram pop a lot more so before we jump into tip number three if you've learned something new this video please make sure to hit that subscribe button it only takes a second So moving on to number three now, this is one of my favorites. I mean, it's more time consuming, but I feel like I find a lot more locations and that is literally just turning up to a city, whether it be walking or driving and literally just exploring. Like if you go down a street, go down an alleyway that you've never been down before. And trust me, you will find some hidden gems which you'd never find on the internet. Like you could come across like a random, like say car that was parked exactly. Say you're wearing a yellow sweatshirt, 
you could find like a yellow band just parked in exactly the right spot next to a cool background that you can't find on like Google and then you can snap that shot in that time and I quite like that it's quite dynamic and it's quite fun because you don't know what you're going to come out with you find new spots and if you find a spot which doesn't match your outfit you know you can come back there later and having a car is really good because now I can finally drive and go to spots just outside the city centres like say like industrial shopping parks and stuff like that like old school factories like all stuff like outside the city centre you can find some really cool spots and the good thing with driving is the flexibility however if you're in the city centre you can't just like park up anywhere and take the photo so that's why sometimes walking around is really good you don't have to go to all the touristy spots to get a good instagram photo one thing i'd really recommend is to try and match the background with your fit so for example like i mentioned before i was wearing yellow i try and find some in yellow for example if i was wearing let's say a red sweatshirt i try to find like a red phone box or a red post box like trust me the color matching just helps it pop so much more and it's so much more eye-catching and appealing and trust me your engagement and your likes will go up on your instagram so moving on to the fourth and final tip and trust me i have saved the best to last I've never seen anyone do this and I just randomly did it one time. I recently shot a fashion editorial for my clothing brand Payday Vintage where I got two girl models and I had to shoot like 30 different pieces. So the good thing with this final point is it has the stuff like tip number three, however it's a lot more time efficient, it allows you to plan and you can find so many more locations so so much quicker and that is using the live view on Google Maps. So if you've never used it before what it is is you like go onto Google Maps and you can put the person and drag him onto a street and you can see the street view from like a person's like POV. And it's a really good way how to like, you can spin it 362. It's a really good way to plan a shoot. So I was shooting in my hometown Chester, but I didn't want to shoot the usual spot in the city center. I wanted to shoot more on like the outskirts. So I planned a route and what I did is I basically put the man and went to a few spots on the outskirts that I'd never been to in Chester and found some nice backgrounds. For example, this first one, I found this yellow kind of, I think it was, an old pub you can't really tell it's a pub but the yellow is really nice pale yellow matched perfectly with the YSL sweatshirt and this photo just pops so so nicely and then another example like about a five minute walk away was this like big green kind of like I think it was like a warehouse kind of like a big green kind of container like a forest green so the color was really nice and it had like the exact symmetrical lining so you can get like a really good clean photo and I got them both in the Playboys the two of them exactly symmetrical one from the front and one from the back and kind of looks like something aesthetically pleasing and looks like something off an editorial the black and the grey pop really nicely against the green and then moving further down I found this like purple Thai restaurant you're probably thinking why would I shoot in front of a Thai restaurant however in the photo you cannot tell and they're both wearing a full purple fit and like the aesthetic of the photo just pops so nicely like when you match the colours with the background, it just stands out so much more, it makes the photo stand out a bit more and it looks a lot cleaner. And trust me, like it's such a simple location, like it's outside a Thai restaurant. Instead of having to go to like the Instagrammy spots in the city centre. Pardon me. Instead of having to go to the Instagrammy spots in the city centre, you can go find something just on the outskirts, like a Thai restaurant, nice and simple, there's gonna be less people around, and you can come out with a cooler shot that you're not gonna see everyone doing in that city on Instagram. And then another really cool spot I found, probably my favourite shot from the shoot, I found this little kids park like next to some sky high flats just outside the city centre and what was really cool about it, it had this like basketball court in the middle and the floor was completely green so like really nice colour, really nice colour to contrast against and I had this Chanel sweatshirt as well as this D&G sweatshirt, one was like a lime green, one was like a, like a royal green is that? Is that the word? Royal green? Yeah, I think so, or bottle green. So I got a shot from like a bird's eye view of both the girls kind of lying down like opposite each other. And me personally, this was my favorite shot from the shoot. The colors pop really nicely and the aesthetic of it just looks so nice. And stuff like that, like the park as well, like the little basketball court, hits such more of a streetwear aesthetic, goes really well with like different outfits. Instead of wearing like a streetwear outfit against like a plain beige wall, it adds some more character and like meaning to the photo. I think it's just, some people you see on Instagram now, these influencers, they just like to shoot against the most plain backgrounds and I think it's so boring. Like, I know it's nice and easy to do and it shows the outfit off more, but I personally think why not get a good background as well as a good outfit to make the photo stand out even more and to appeal to many more people. I'd recommend definitely if you go into a new city, whether it be a country, a location, you can literally do it for anywhere. Go onto Google Maps Live View and find out whether the location looks good or whether it doesn't look good and then 
you can save you much more time and then you kind of know that you're going to get a good photo when you go there. People assume that you have to go to city centres to shoot the best stuff, but you may have seen from my video where I went out when I was in quarantine and lockdown and I shot my own Instagram photos. I'll play a short clip right now. So recently I've really been getting into photography and I love the process of finding new locations, shooting new outfits, getting creative and the whole editing process. COVID-19 came and really impacted photographers as we can't go meet models and visit new locations, so thousands have resulted to shooting against a plain white bedsheet. I didn't want to let COVID-19 destroy my creativity and impact my content, so I thought I'd go out and shoot some self-timer photos and take you all along with me. But I think that is a wrap. That is my four different tips on how to find the best locations for Instagram photos. Let me know if you have any other ideas on tips on how to find locations in the comment section down below. And if this video has helped you out in any way and added some value, all I ask is that you just hit that subscribe button and also press that notification bell to so be notified every single time I upload a video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you are into men's fashion, be sure to check out the rest of my videos. I do videos on like how to style, lookbooks, trip to the thrifts, DIYs, more fashion photography videos, posing and how to make money. So have a nice day and I'll see you all in the next one.